I am the mother freaking rooster. So the Iraq war ended today out of nowhere. I was like, whoa, I know, you're as shocked as I am, right? I couldn't freaking believe it. It's like, oh, you think I'm full of shit, right? Well, I don't blame you. I mean, if someone like me told me, hey, the Iraq war ended today. They're bringing all the troops back immediately. I'd be like, you're fucking insane. Like, who the hell are you? I'm going to go check CNN and fucking the newspaper. And you know what? Shit. If I didn't see it in a newspaper, if I didn't see it in the New York fucking Times, I wouldn't have believed it. But there it is. I mean, I picked this up today. Can you... Are you seeing this? Iraq War Ends, New York Times. The newspaper, a fucking record. Okay? Troops return immediately. It says right there in the article. I was... Oh, wow. Alright. Alright. No. This is... This is fake. This is a fake paper. It's an unbelievably good fake. I mean... The layout on this thing is perfect. Everything is flawless. Except you start examining it, and the date, for example, Saturday, July 4th, 2008. Okay. I guess whoever made this thought it would be funny if the Iraqis had the same Independence Day as us. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but uh, that's the date they put on it. And... Oh! 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 What? What happened? Jesus. Yeah, sorry about that. My cat's just spilled a large can of energy drink all over the floor. So I had to clean that up. Anyways, what were we talking about? Alright, the newspaper. So yes, this is fake and stuff like that. Um... It's a pretty good damn fake. This thing, it looks exactly like the real New York Times. And from what I hear, it was in part helped by people from the New York Times to make this. And I've heard it's by a group called the Yes Men, but I'm not sure. And, um, yeah, I guess they're anti-war protesters and shit like that. Whatever. Anyways, good job on them. This thing was passed out all over New York City. There's tons of these out there. So now for something from the real New York Times. This isn't from today. It's from the 6th of November, 2008. And it's a kind of diagram, graph, thing. I don't know what you would call it. But anyways, it's a map of the U.S. And it's color-coded and divided into counties. And... What it is, it's based on our latest presidential election, and the counties in blue, all this blue area, is counties that more of the people in those counties voted Democrat, and the counties that are red, more of the people in, there, in those counties voted Republican. So, as you can see, overwhelmingly across the U.S., people saw the light, they saw the damage that Bush had done, and the Republicans since 2004, destroying the economy, Katrina, etc., etc., and overwhelmingly people said, we need a change, get those Democrats in there. So, what are these other places doing? Why, why is this red fucking pimple right here? And the only thing that people can point to that they saw a change between the, the Democratic nominee from 2004 and the one we have in 2008 is that one is a black guy. You have just this area right here. It's all red. Why? Why would more people vote for the Republican, considering all that's happened? And the only thing we can figure out is racism. Just plain, simple racism. Somebody asked these people, hey, you going to vote for the black guy or the white guy? And all these people in here unanimously went, I'm going to vote for the white guy. I always vote for the white guy. These people based their vote on the color of the guy's skin. There's more retards in here than there was in 2004. Supposedly. These people got dumber. And you say, whoa, 
we're progressing, we're going forward. No, conservatives. They want to stay dumb. They want to go stay back conservatively stupid. Cock-a-doodle.